Last time on Sprig Plays Dramatical Murder. Ren? I faintly call his name, and Ren comes over and cuddles next to me. Aw. I hug his soft body. In a single moment, my body becomes relaxed and I close my eyes. And here we go. Hmm. Thoughts? Huh? I... Oh. Right. Yesterday I fell asleep on the couch. Wait. What? A bed? I was clearly just sleeping on a bed. When did I get up and move to a bed? Was I half asleep? My head is still hazy from just waking up, and I hear something coming from outside the room. A tasty smell reaches my nose, and my stomach cries out. Huh. Food. <laughs> Why is he mad? I have a bad feeling about it, and get up from the bed. Ren starts up by my feet. Good morning, Abba. Morning, Ren. I hold Ren as I'm about to leave the room. I stop. Uh, for some reason it seems like the room's sparkling? It was pretty before, but it's been polished or something. I hear the sound of a chopping knife coming from outside the room. Uh... I leave the room and walk down the corridor. I notice that there's something sitting on the living room table. What's this? An extravagant amount of food sits on the table. Chicken, soup, and even some cooked fish are spread out over the table. I've never seen anything like this. I can't even imagine what they must all taste like. Mm-hmm, him, him, I can hear someone humming from the bar counter. He... I rush over to the source of the humming and... I freeze in place. Oh, master. Good morning. Uh... What? <laughs> nice. Something really, really strange stood in front of me. The only things that covered it were a cute apron, a gas mask, and a pair of gloves. <laughs> I shake my head, mostly out of embarrassment, as Clear still stands there, almost butt naked, holding a knife in the kitchen. Breakfast preparations are almost done, so please sit down. Uh... Did you sleep well last night? Wasn't your room sparkling? I took the time to finish cleaning while you were asleep, Master. Y you know... Yes? What is it, Master? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, wow. Ouch! Still somewhat horrified from the scene, I thoughtlessly give Clear a roundhouse kick. Clear's jaw receives a harsh blow and he falls to the floor and starts to cry. So, so mean. I was working so hard for you, Master. Your idea of working hard is fucking weird. But don't they say that a man's romantic fantasy is someone naked in an apron cooking for them? So, you know, I thought you'd like it too. Where did you learn that? Anyway, just go and change into that fucking apron. Uh, yes. Claire gets up, still crying, and leaves the counter. He looks pathetic in that apron, and his ass is still showing. Jesus, what was he thinking? It's so fucked up. Surely that was an example of, don't cover your head and leave your bottom bare. Your bottom bare. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I give Clear a sidelong glance when he comes back into the room. Sighing, I sit on the sofa. On the table in front of me is an entire menu's worth of breakfast foods piled up. This is amazing. It all looks delicious. Well, I hope you say thank you, at least. But Clear's the one who made all this. I don't know how it tastes just by staring at it, either. So all of this might even taste awful. I am hungry, though. Because of the smells, my empty stomach roars and I timidly reach for the fork. I stab something that looks like chicken and prepare myself. I bring it up to my mouth. It's tasty. Well, isn't it? Oh, whoa. Clear suddenly appears in front of me and I throw myself back. That was dangerous, especially while I was holding this fork. You surprise me. Don't scare me like that. 
I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I did change clothes. Did you make all this? Yes. Is that so? I, is it good? It's delicious, right? You did say that earlier. Well, yeah, it's good. Oh, that's great. My efforts paid off for you, Master. Clear claps his hands together in high spirits. Did you take lessons on cleaning or cooking or something? Half of it was self-taught. Some of it was because I took care of Grandpa. Oh, I see. But how did you get all these ingredients? I got them from somewhere like a supermarket. You... got them? Yes. Everyone here gives things to others freely. Huh. Of course, the enlightened people under Toei-sama would do something like that. As I speak, I give in to my hunger and start eating things one by one off the table. And that corn soup over there is something I'm very confident in. It's full of cream corn. Hmm. It's... it's great. And, I also thought I made this omelette well. How is it? Um... Delicious. That's wonderful. Wait. We don't have time to enjoy elegant breakfasts like this. W Watch out, master. Uh... My bad. The table could have flipped over if I had gotten up too roughly. And it would have been bad to ruin all of this delicious food. By the way, Master, I'm changing the topic now, but do we have our sights on Oval Tower? Um, I haven't decided yet, but I think it'd be best to gather information on it to make sure. Oh, then why don't we head over to the tower later? Information gathering is important. Sure. I nod and pluck a strawberry off some pancakes. I had planned to go there from the start anyway. Okay, let's go out and make preparations. Oh, yes, I'll, I'll tidy up then. No, I ate, so I'll help out too. Really? Thank you so much, dear. <sighs> Ow! Y you're awful, master. Continuing on like a slapstick comedy, we finish cleaning up breakfast, get our clothes together, and leave glitter. We only came here yesterday evening, so it still feels strange to see it's still dark outside. Of course, Platinum Jail is usually set on nighttime, but the thought of dawn never coming is a little scary. The guests here must not mind it much, though. Without being able to wipe the worry away, I walk down the main street and follow the map on my invitation with Clear. We come considerably close to Oval Tower, and then Clear pulls on my jacket. Master, I have something I'd like to say. What is it? The truth is... Clear speaks in an exaggerated tone and turns his head to me. I think I have an idea of who knows how to get into the tower. Really? Yes, and they're close to us right now. How do you know? And where could... He puts his glove-covered finger to my lips. They're behind us right now. I can tell. I could never mistake them. Are you serious? Yes, I believe I heard them. As he says that, Clear turns his head around rapidly, and behind us is... <sighs> Mr. Police? Uh, you dumbass! I pull on Clear's gas mask from behind and pull it down hard. You're so mean, Master. Why did you stop me? What did you think you were doing? That was a fucking cop! Clear tilts his head to the side with a puzzled look, and a question mark pops above his head. I was always told that if something came up that you should ask a police officer. I thought you really wanted to know about that tower. You... do you even know what you're doing? We're from the old resident district. They would think we're terrorists. It's dangerous. We have to keep a low profile. Or else. Don't ever do that again. Oh, so that was it. Terrorists. Clear claps his hands together. <sighs> Jesus, give me a break. Well, what about that person over there? He looks like he knows something. Huh? He points and then starts walking in that direction. Hey, wait! 
Uh, hello. Excuse me for a minute. I see a person by an entrance and get upset once again. That's... There are scars all over that sketchy guy. Wait, clear! Excuse me. There's something I'd like to ask you. Huh? What? The group of hoodlums react to Clear's yelling. Oh shit, I need to stop him. I'm in a panic as Clear walks up close to the gang of hoodlums. Do you have any idea of how someone would get into the tower? Tower? Hey, you might want to show some damn manners when you ask some questions, you know? Manners? As in an introduction? Are you, are you fucking around? Hand me some cash if you have some. Money? I don't hand money over to people I've just met and I don't even know their names. What? Don't, don't give me any fucking lip. <laughs> Stupid. Clear. A vein pops out on one of the hoodlum's forehead and he suddenly raises one of his arms up. Clear. He's going to hit him. At least I thought he would. You mustn't use violence. Uh? Huh? Clear puts up both of his hands and they buzz around, hitting the man's face until he falls down. Motherfucker, what are you doing? You, uh, you mustn't resort to violence. Clear. Uh, well, this guy has a face. Hey, what are you doing? A voice comes from behind the hoodlums, and a neurotic looking man with glasses on walks towards us, swaying. Th this guy's just. The glasses man looks to clear, glances at the fallen hoodlum, and then back to us. Which one of you did this? Well, the, the guest, the, the guest mask guy. Oh, I see. This boy here is one of mine. You're causing me trouble by hurting him. <laughs> he was the one who swung at me first. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Clear, don't say anything. Please excuse us. We made a mistake. We're really sorry. I hold on to Clear's arm and bow our heads to the Yakuza. But I guess you could say it actually was a mistake. Huh? It'd be nice to end it with an apology like that. It really would. But I can't just leave it. Eh. The man with the glasses walks briskly towards us and suddenly throws me to the ground. I stumble over and he goes after Clear. Master, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Master, are you some sort of barkeeper? Aren't you both a little too into it? The man laughs scornfully as Clear faces him and takes a step forward. Clear? What? Suddenly things feel different. The men start to circle around the changed clear. Oh, I can't forgive you for laying your hand on Master. <laughs> what, what are you saying? I said that it's unforgivable. Sh shut up, you bitch. <laughs> Suddenly, Clear punches the hoodlum down. That isn't the only thing that startles me. Clear's punch is so powerful that the man is blown off his feet. Clear turns around visibly relaxed, and faces the glasses guy. You're the one that harmed Master, so that's why I won't forgive you. Huh. The once composed man's face warps. He walks up to Clear and grabs him by the collar. Bastard, don't get so khaki. <laughs> Apologize. Apologize to Master. Asshole. Apologize. Ugh. Clear, stop it. Quickly. Who? Clear? He'll die like this. I grab on the Clear's shoulders as strongly as I can. Clear, just stop it already. But Master, he... I'm fine. Just listen to me. I'm fine. So stop. Uh, all, all right. Clear's bloodthirst dies down and he slouches dejectedly. Uh, 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 uh. Around us, all of the Yakuza lay on the ground, groaning. He really overdid it. But why did it have to turn out like this? It was like Clear became an entirely different person. Anyway, it would be a good idea to get out of here. Fast. Let's go. Yes. I quickly lead Clear along and retrace our steps.